so I'm over here recording myself. I'm still in the States and I'm going to Bulgaria. Sofia, Bulgaria, and I'm pretty much gonna be everywhere in Bulgaria. But before I go, I have my luggage here with me and I'm gonna go to Turkish Airlines. So this is basically gonna be a segment of my Bulgarian experience. Um, a black girl in Bulgaria, pretty much. So I'm gonna go. Um, I'm flying from AID, which is an airport in Dallas, Virginia. And I'm gonna be in Turkey, two hour layover. Then I'm gonna be Sofia, Bulgaria. So come along with me and enjoy this experience. So I just asked the security where Turkish Airlines was. And they basically told me to go this way and make a left. So I'm going this way and making a left. Um, I like being at the airport because like, you see a lot of people, different cultures, different languages and everything. And yeah, I'm originally from Ghana. So it's nice. Um, I just even, I even met somebody from Ghana and we were just speaking our language and uh, living in the States, you just don't meet people from Ghana and just start talking. So it was kind of nice to have that. So welcome to Turkish Airlines and come with me. So here we go. Just saw Turkish Airlines and I'm recording myself. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Oops. I keep bumping it to stop. Yay! Okay. It's funny how I only got 11% on my phone and I'm still recording. Basically waiting to be checked in and we've been waiting here for at least 30 minutes. But as you can see, no one is on the um, computer or anything. It's just a bunch of us waiting and the line is getting longer and longer and longer. So, not sure what is going on, but I guess we keep waiting. Take a shower. My experience so far. So, I did get my passport. I checked in finally. It took forever. But you know what's funny? I'm still at the States. And I didn't know where to go. I was like walking. I'm like, okay, where do I go? Where do I go? So now, um, whatever, I'm gonna figure it out. But yeah. So guys, TSA is checked. And now I'm waiting for the train to go to my gate, which is B41. And I was saying, well, I was recording, but it wasn't recording, so I was just talking. But I'm excited to go to Bulgaria. Like my best friend is from there and she lives in the state but she moves back and forth within the states of bulgaria and i it's been a dream since high school so this is so exciting i don't know but it's been it's not been like there's just just this excitement and i can't wait you know for my experience and stuff so yeah waiting for the train so i'm in the plane right now and oh we have my book bag where everybody has like a lot of cam, I mean luggage and stuff. I wanted to carry like, I don't like having a lot of stuff with me unless I'm going to Ghana, but this is a vacation, so I'm hoping people can hear me because I don't want to be super loud. But yeah, see you in 10 hours. to Turkey and I'm going to Sofia, Bulgaria. Everything is in Turkish so it's really hard to understand but um, I'm gonna go ask for help because that's what I need. I'm not seeing Sofia, Bulgaria on the screen and this is the screen. Right here. I'm not seeing where I'm going so hopefully I can find somebody that could help me with this because I don't know where I'm going.
So I did go, I did get help. Um, um, I don't have a gate yet. So I guess I can go sit anywhere. Cause like, it's gonna be 1925, which is oh, 725. I hate, <laughs> I hate whatever military time or what, whatever they call it. Yeah, I don't like it. Cause I feel like I have to add and subtract and whatever in my head. And, I'm not with that. So I'm just going to sit here and just wait um, since I have no gate yet. I think I figured out how this thing works. So if anyone is using the Turkish Airlines, um, this thing or is going to be at the Istanbul airport. This thing is going to show you your gate number, which is the one, two, three, four, five, the fifth row, like where I'm pointing when it's two hours to your flight. So two hours to your flight, it's gonna show you this, it's gonna show you that this flight is like way back, so it doesn't have anything. So if, let's say you're looking for this and you don't see your flight number, maybe your flight is a little later, so you don't have to panic till it's two hours. So a little bit tour of the Turkish um, airport. Istanbul, not Turkish airport. Um, it's really nice, you know. Um, you can't lose, I mean, it's really self explainable even though it's, a, um, it's um, most of it is foreign. Like, um, there are a lot of people that speak English here, so they make the experience fun. I mean, they make it easy to find your way and stuff, so it's pretty nice. Yeah. And this is just to see how big this thing is. It's like a mall. And has a lot of shops and stuff. Yeah. Bulgaria. I'm excited. I don't know where to go. All right. This is me recording again. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Do you know how much, like how long I've wanted to come to, to this place? You don't understand. It was a long flight, but it's so worth it. Can't wait to see my best friend. Vicky. Now I have to like, um, Go claim my luggage. I'm just going with the crowd because I pretty much don't know what is going on. But yeah. So we made it home. Not speaking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you shy? Yes. You gotta say something. I'm super excited that my best friend is here yes. from the US. So she picked me up with her friend and we made it home. How was the drive? It was funny. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel. I want a lot of views. And we're going to do a lot of fun stuff. And Vicky's going to give us a tour. So, bye you guys. <laughs> <laughs>